What's up everyone, it's Eric from Option Edge and today I wanna to show you an interesting tweet I found on Finance Twitter. And this tweet was made by Stephen Place. He's a, a professional, a self-proclaimed professional options trader. And last week I paid attention to something he put out on April 24th, last Monday basically. He put out Tesla, uh, end of the week uh, straddle, currently priced at $7.60, okay? and that the average daily range clocks in at about 780. So basically basically the average daily range is the average price movement of Tesla and the straddle is going for $7.60. So basically if Tesla moves more than $7.60, you will be profitable and when you have the average daily uh, range clocking at 780, literally the numbers are showing you that on average, yeah, you're probably gonna profit if you buy a straddle. So here's the chart of that trade when he put it on. So you can see it was priced at 7.6 right at the beginning of the trade, right around here, okay? And as we go further, there's no x-axis here, but you can see that this trade essentially almost doubled and it's a delta neutral play. So uh, right now volatility is extremely cheap in Tesla. And that was back then. So like I said, that trade almost doubled and it was a delta neutral, no directionality in that trade, just betting on a little price swing there. So he tweeted today, rinse and repeat. Tesla straddle is that expiring only four days from today or Friday. It's going for $7 flat. And the current 10 day average true range is $7.06. Do you think Tesla can move 10 bucks in a single direction by Friday? Here's Tesla's price. You can see that the average true range is 7.5. Let's hop over to the Robinhood platform and see how to set up this trade. So I actually placed this trade earlier today and um, we were trading closer to the 162 and a half strike. So we buy a call and then we buy a put. That's simple. And like I said, the, the deltas of each cancel each other out. So it's basically essentially a delta neutral play. So here's the profit and loss chart. You can see our break evens are about 156 to the downside and uh, almost 170 to the upside. So more or less, we're looking at a $7 move in this name, a little, a little greater than a $7 move. So when we look back to the average true range, which was about 7.5, 7.6, and then we see the pricing of this, which is uh, below $7, the, the, the question we have to ask ourselves, do we think that the volatility of Tesla can be greater than this little range here? And you know something to, to notice is that volatility has actually been very low in, in Tesla. It's normally trading around 80 or so. Um, right now it's about 50%, so something to keep in mind. And here's a good snapshot showing just the probability of profit for this trade. Uh, granted, I, when I put this trade on, it was trading around $162 uh, per share. Right now it's moved to uh, like 160 ish uh, 161 I think after hours might have moved even lower. Um, so the delta on that is going to be greater so now we're seeing more of a negative delta um but you know a 50 50 shot almost for something that's volatility is so low and when normally the volatility is higher and we're getting the pricing that we're getting i think this is a good shot um so we'll see how it turns out all right peace